welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to Classic Speed. We are updating on what's happening with my classic cars. Now, first off, that car, the Camaro, is finally done. We have the wide fenders on it, and there's a new intake and tune and headers going into the car also. We should see that in Manila pretty much soon. This is the RB28 that we've rebuilt. It's in the 240Z. They are test fitting everything. We have issues with the headers and the turbo looks like it's gonna be sticking out the hood. So it means we need to trim the hood. Now this 240Z Datsun already has the Techno Toy tuning front and rear suspension upgrade. It has new disc brakes. You can't really see it. It's got the Willwood brakes and then it's the mini light brake kit. Now we do have a wide body pandem kit for this and we have wheels already sitting inside the storage area. We're just test fitting everything. The RB28 in this has not been able to run yet. So we don't know what else needs to be done to it, but should be good. Um, the only issue, as I said, was the header system. We have some parts here for techno toy tuning. Look at these things. Love how the little details like that, TTT. The whole car is basically super modified already. We're going to change the wiring harness as well. I'm thinking what to do with the gauges. I did order some Speed Hut gauges with the 240Z logo, but look at this beautiful engine. Here is the front suspension upgrade. Now the steering rack, I don't know what actual rack we're running, but these are the front suspension arms along with the, I guess the stabilizer or might be the control arm. It's got multiple adjustment points and new coilovers. The beautiful engine that we rebuilt. If you haven't seen the rebuild uh, video for this, please check it out. It's on the channel. We are hardlining the brakes, which actually we just should use stainless braided lines. Now we had issues with the clutch. So basically I learned that this is a push type clutch, which we can need to convert to a pull type clutch. It's gonna have a fork and all that. We had to order the kit from the UK because we already have the clutch kit and we're gonna work with this. Now this is the rear suspension upgrade also. As you can see, it's all upgraded, uprated. It's gonna fit a bigger differential. I think we have a Ford differential for this. Now, if you guys have a 240Z, I also have an Apex Engineering rear end kit and a front suspension kit that we can rest to mod your car with. Okay, moving on to this 2013 Mustang. Now, we have a lot of plans for this 2013 Mustang. This is an interesting project. We're basically going to cut the cowl off and remade a new body to it. So this is a project for my brother because I sold him that Mach 1 and he actually didn't like how the old cars feel and all of a sudden he wanted an automatic. So we got him an automatic, a newer car. Hopefully all the creature comforts work. We're going to basically retrofit the whole body and just dismantle this body. That's a lot of cutting and retrofitting. Stay tuned and follow this build because this is gonna be interesting. Even I'm interested to do this. If you go online, you can see people like B is for build. They've done this project already before. If you guys have been following me for a long time, this is one of the longest running projects that I've actually had in the car shop. I've had this car since the first car shop and no, it's not my car, it's a client's car. And finally, we're actually doing a full rewiring job on it. Now the backstory on this is that um, we were building it. It wasn't running when it got to us. We sent the engine out to get it rebuilt. The first shop that rebuilt it actually didn't honor the warranty work. They did a lot of shortcuts. The engine was always smoking and we actually had to do a second rebuild, which I paid for already because I felt bad to, I couldn't charge the owner anymore for the rebuild. Now we're doing a full PDM system on this and then after that we're going to do a full washover also and then hopefully fix the interior and get the car running because this car has been with me too long. I think nine years already. So hopefully we can get this out this year. Now this is our client's car. We just repainted it. It's got uh, like an acid lime green on it and very similar to the highlights for the Lamborghini SVJ. Charger, Charger's finally going to Manila. We do have a buyer who's interested with this. We're just gonna clean it up. We're waiting for some new gauge sensors, but that car works. Some beautiful seats. If you guys need rear seats, please give us a call. We make now the rear 911 seat, the half cut 65 seat, the front cut 67 seat, and my Skyfarer pickup, nothing happening to it just yet. 
From the last update on this, we had to make some uh, new headers, check the air suspension leak, and figure out why it was billowing smoke. But that's good to go in a few months. The shop is just prioritizing paying clients, of course, and then cars that are on the way out already so that we can get rid of them and create more space in the shop. Look at this beautiful car. Superformance Shelby Daytona. Now, what the theory of this car was, for the people who like the Cobras, they wanted a car that you could take on long long drives this was the car that you would buy because this has a full boot and it's a gt style suspension kit so it's actually made for long drives but it still has the side burner exhaust on it this this is sentimental to me this is my dad's old chair and we're gonna revive it because it's pretty rank already. Nag-change po kami ng ratio ng pedal. So, para so mas maging magan yung clutch. Yung fulcrum point? Yes po. Hopefully, the mambot. Yes po. Here's another rear seat that we're building. The Volkswagen Combi. It's over here. Real steel, almost complete. The full body panels are there. We're now ordering suspension components for it. Again, this running a Subaru engine later on and we have to order the mags. We're going to make a wide body kit for this also along with ordering the little components like the 21 windows and all the other bits and bobs over there. Now, these two are being rebuilt for our client. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed all that running that I did with the glide cam. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys again in the next episode. Peace.